I don't suppose you found any of those atmospheric sensors? That's great news. My offer still stands. I'll pay you 3,000 credits for all of them. It is worth more to us than that. I'll pay you 4,000 credits for the lot of them. Thanks for your help on this. Here are the credits, as promised. I'll get this to Zeron when I get back to Kunda. luck on getting my modulator back from Joran? I don't think anyone here will be able to help me. Excellent. How did you deal with Joran? Really? You must have been very persuasive. I'm relieved this situation is finally resolved. You have more than earned this reward. Zeron was right about the mercenaries all along. I guess my ego clouded my judgment as to what's best for Kunda. I see you have found the elusive Master Rook. He's told me that his rescue complicated our situation to some degree. I can't say that I anticipated that. I thank you for finding him, though. Vrook has informed me that the mercenaries devised a plan of attack to annihilate Kunda itself. I must ask for your aid again, Jedi. Zeron says that even with a plan, the mercenaries have to gather their forces, then coordinate their assault. So we still have time. I'm afraid the militia has not been adequately trained for the task that befalls them. Right now, just us and the militia. I don't want to create a needless panic. But be assured I will make sure that all civilians are warned in time, so they can get to safety. Though if we lose this battle, nowhere in Dantooine will be safe for settlers for long. Our militia is effective at peacekeeping, but isn't prepared for a full-scale battle. If you can do anything to ready them for the reality of it, that would be helpful. Besides that, look around Kunda and see what you can do to strengthen our defenses. I know that we don't have the perimeter turrets online, and that alone could make a significant difference. Zeron says there is a considerable chance they will breach Kunda itself. Anything you can do to slow them down could turn the tide of battle. I have instructed the militia and other Kunda personnel that you are to be provided with anything that can be spared. Unfortunately, that isn't much. Here is a Mastercard key that will open all of the security doors inside Kunda. Anything that might aid you in your task, please use. Soon, all the civilians will be evacuated. So if you have any business with them, I suggest you take care of it. 
Whenever you are ready to finalize the defenses, talk with Zeron. I was right about you. You are trouble. But you might just be the right sort of trouble we need. The mercenaries aren't quick to mobilize, so you have time to do what you need. Or are you ready to finalize the defense plans? We could use people handy with a blaster. Getting people to join the militia for a short stint would be good. We also got a lot of things that could use fixing. It isn't glamorous, but that type of work sometimes makes a load of difference. Just look around. Plenty to be done. Off the top of my head, the three turrets outside Kunda are on the blink. They went haywire the other day and wounded some of my men, so we took them offline. The men who were wounded by the turrets are holed up in the med lab. But our medic droid is busted, so they're healing slowly. I've had some men lay traps around Kunda, but nobody here really specializes in demolitions. I'm sure there's some gaps that could be filled. The side security door to Kunda has been malfunctioning as long as I've been here. It may be best to just seal it off lockdown so nobody gets through. We got some broken assault droids that have been collecting dust for the last five years. If they were working, it would help a lot with interior defense. If I had it my way, I'd recruit any citizen of Kunda that can hold a blaster. But it's hard to convince peaceful farmers to fight, maybe die for a cause. I don't know if it's certain. It could be a day or even a week. Depends on how good Azkul is at organizing his men. I'm guessing not so good. When you're ready, come back and we can talk about the final plans to defend Kunda. Zeron was right about the mercenaries all along. I guess my e- Jenish Melaka Wachino saw impost mocha chani rika san. Wala kun bis king mung pal muli ras name of poiduana. Ritu ting mi pa, chichi na.
I hear you. Yes? Have you come with questions? That crystal is bonded to you. Through you, it acquires its character and strength. And through it, your power is enhanced. Is there something else you wished? That crystal... Should your power increase or your resolve change, is there something... Find little welcome here, Jedi. For your own... I will answer your questions. Yeah, I guess so. I'm not too fond of my job, but it's better than the job I'd have if the mercs took over. I'll report to Zeron for militia duty. Ciao, Nana Gundoso, Remina, che l'ora che curo cattata. Fiore Toro, Padano, Ringatel, Camarada, Telefibo, Nubo, Debiterana, Cenirara. Ciao, Nana Gundoso, Remina, che l'ora che curo cattata. Fiore Toro, Padano, Ringatel, Camarada, Telefibo, Nubo, Debiterana, Cenirara. Terewana Jun, Conata della Raguna, Tuna. Dai, Rinto Runca, Recare, Papanala, Ranchinga. Terace, Women, Toto, Rere, Senesensen. Dare into Runto Wakare Que Wap Gerebu, Ninso Telepachan Gorsadara Nane, Gra Gra de Lunuta Cholorin, Terewana Jun Conata de la Raguna Tuna, Dare into Runka Recare Papanala Ranchinga, Derace Wemenoto Tore Senesenten. Dare into Runto Wakare Que Wap Gerebu, Ninso Telepachan Gorsadara Nane, Gra Gra de Lunuta Cholorin, Terewana Jun Conata de la Raguna Tuna, Dare into Runka Recare Papanala Ranchinga, Derace Wemenoto Tore Senesenten. 
Det är du inte runt och åka och och åka i Rebo. Ingen så telepatchen går sådär och annan är grej och grej. Det är nog att hålla in. Kära Nana Gundoso, det minner jag att du går och kattar dig. Fjärre tår och paddan och ringa till kamerader till Fibo nu på det här gärna känner jag dig. Man har varit trött och sover på rakt och drun. Kriget är min tro grej, bara någon flank tror jag att det är en sak. Jag har varit och sett att det är bara en sak. Jag har varit och sett att det är en sak. Jag har varit och sett att det är det är inte runt och åka och rekoja och åka i Rebo. Ingen så telepatchen går sådär och annan är grej och grej. Det är nog att hålla in. Thanks for helping out the militia. I don't suppose you're here to hire us. It's been a long time since we've had a paying job. Some of us are getting jumpy. You a new salvager? How oh, is that? I'm gonna give you. If you're not in there, so if you find. Back again, huh? I don't know what more I can say to you, but it's nice to see you again, regardless. I hadn't even thought of that. I know the militia will take just about anyone. <laughs> I need the credits, and would like working with people who will actually watch your back. Well, I want to think it through, but I think I might just go to Kunda and sign up. Thanks for the idea. Jaren says you saved him down there. Nick? Ah, the Traveler has returned. I hope the Dantooine is providing suitable distraction and entertainment for you. So, what should we talk about? I, uh, have no real desire to put myself in harm's way for Dantooine. They haven't exactly made the salvagers stay here pleasant.
Thanks for the help. I plan on going back to the farm shortly. Since you're asking me, I suppose I could. I figure I still owe you for helping me with my thief problem. Zeron has asked me several times before to join the militia. So I expect he's going to be very pleased. I was right about you, the mercenary. That's good to hear. Fill me in on the details when you're ready to finalize our battle plans. So you did. Here's the credits I told you about. Even with the caves cleared, I imagine it'll take some time before the Kinrath aren't on the plains. That was very helpful of you. You saved some lives today. The mercenaries aren't quick to mobilize, so you have time to do what you need. Or are you ready to finalize the defense plans? I don't have anything to say about that. We can talk more later. I was right about you, the mercenary. You sure? Once we're done with that, there may not be any time left before the mercenaries attack. All right, then we got a lot to do. Since you are here to bolster Kunda's defense, I will hurry to the mercenary camp and delay their assault however I can. I imagine that the mercenaries have got two goals in this whole thing. Kill me and kill the administrator. The rest of the settlers won't have courage to resist if they succeed. It's not that the settlers aren't good people. Many folk just don't have the fighting mentality. They'd rather just make people happy and get along. But there isn't any getting along with Asgore. He's out for blood and taking the place over. So we gotta protect the Administrator. Kunda can go on without me, but not without her. The Administrator's locked up in her office tight, which means that the mercs have to go through us and Kunda's defenses. Thanks to you, they're gonna have a tougher job. That's about it. Now we just need to dig in and wait for the mercs to come. Well, I'll tell them what's there to do. I'm not much for words. All right, I'll assemble the men. I hope you can speak good. Than me. I think it'll really help. Let's get ready for the mercenaries. If we fall here, all of Dan Twain falls with us. So you're the Jedi. I take it you are responsible for the surprises we've had during this battle. Stand aside. Our quarrel is with a distinguished administrator. This isn't your problem. You have no idea who you're talking to. I was going to spare your worthless life. I see I was in error. I was trained at Malak's Academy. Your tricks won't work on me. You're just another dead Jedi to me. I didn't sign on for this cold-blooded slaughter, Ascol. I was wondering when you would betray me, Dopak. I'll send your final wages to your children. 
along with a detonator. Sorry I was held up, but it looks like I've arrived in time to pull you out of your predicament. Kill them all. Be sure that Dantooine will not forget how the Jedi protected us from this threat. We are a humble community, and this conflict has greatly diminished our resources. I hope this reward will be sufficient. I am humbled by your generosity. I will put this to good use. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much work to do. Dantooine will be slow to rebuild, but I am confident now that we will one day achieve prosperity. Kunda is safe in no small part due to you. I feel certain that the Administrator wouldn't have made it without your assistance. I may have misjudged you. In any case, I am free to talk about whatever you wish. There are a few of us left. But I do not even know if the others still live. We may be the last. We have been forced to divide our forces and retreat to places which will be difficult for our enemies to detect and attack. We have chosen to hide our presences from each other, so that the discovery of one will not endanger the others. We cannot. And we have resolved not to until we have found where the Sith are striking from. But even as our numbers thin, there is still no trace of them. We had hoped to outmaneuver them. By letting them believe themselves victorious, we thought they would become bold and step from the shadows. Then, all of us who remained vowed to meet here on Dantooine. From here, we can plan a course of action and carry the battle to them. But so far, they remain in hiding. And Jedi continue to vanish and die. You have more questions for me? We are at war, but it is unlike any war we have fought before. We have yet to even meet our attackers in battle. Somehow our enemy is targeting us through the Force, striking, then retreating to the shadows. The gathering of any Jedi seems to attract them like a beacon. So it was necessary to divide our forces and conceal ourselves for a time until we could learn more of this threat. Yes, the Meraluka world of Qatar taught us that. Many Jedi gathered there in an attempt to use the Force to find the location of the enemy. Now the planet is no more. Master Zar, Master Dorak, and many more perished there. And we do not know why or how. But all life on the planet ceased to exist. I was not on Qatar when it was destroyed, but now that it is dead, it has left its echo. Like Dantooine. It was after Qatar that the few of us left realized that wherever we gathered, we were placing others in danger, not just Jedi. Great tragedies, old battlegrounds. Places of suffering all leave wounds on the galaxy and in the Force. In such places, the deaths of so many echo. So much so that it is difficult to center oneself. By coming here, those echoes serve to mask my presence, allowing me to investigate the ruins and try to find some clues as to who our attackers are. The Miraluka world of Qatar taught us a terrible lesson. Now the planet is no more. Master Zar, Master Dorak, and many more have perished there, and we do not know why or how. But all life on the planet ceased to exist. I was not on Qatar when it was destroyed, but now that it is dead, it has left its echo. 
like Dent to Eden. It was after Qatar that the few of us left realized that wherever we gathered, we were placing others in danger, not just Jedi. You have more questions for me? Because you defied the Council and followed Revan to war. And from that war came another. Do you know how many worlds were destroyed in those wars? Dantooine, Telos, Sirocco? Do you see now why we counseled caution instead of action? You were the only one to come back and face judgment. But that was because you had lost your connection to the Force. Another casualty of war. No doubt you still blame us for your exile. I had hoped your isolation would give you time to reflect on what had happened, what you had done. But I see it as not. You have more questions for me? We did nothing to you. Accuse us if you will, but it will not change the truth. Cutting one off from the Force. Such punishments are reserved for only a few. Although it was within our power, we did not inflict such a loss upon you. Your loss was a casualty of war. No more. Perhaps that is a question you should ask yourself. It is not something I could help you with, even if I wanted to. Perhaps it is Dantooine, but I do not feel such from you. I feel nothing but what I felt in the Council Judgment Chamber on Coruscant so long ago. Still, you and your... connections were often a subject of debate in the Council. It is possible that returning to known space, journeying with others, has caused the Force to stir within you again. You have more questions for me? Force bonds? Yes. It is the bond that grows between master and student. Are you saying you have bonded with another? Such bonds normally grant strength to both, but not to such a degree. Are you certain? Perhaps it is merely what you believe. Still, your ability to form such connections, to influence others, was always a subject of discussion, even when you were a student here. Perhaps it is a punishment of a sort. But a bond that ties two lives together, such bonds do not seem natural to me. And with your loss of connection to the Force, it seems such a connection would be impossible. Perhaps it is Dantui. Still, you and... It is possible... You have more... Have they? I've seen no evidence of them upon Dantui. Only murderers and raiders. Why would they attack you? There were no Jedi. You cannot feel the Force. For some reason, I believe you. Still, I am curious as to how they would know to find you. Your trial was not public knowledge. Regardless, these Sith have struck and you survived. This is more knowledge than I had before. And that means the Jedi may gather. If you can find others, or find some trace of the Sith threat, then we shall gather here on Dentween. And from there we may decide what can be done. You have more questions for me? I suppose there is something I should show you. It will keep you alive long enough to prove useful. I'm only going to demonstrate this one. This is the Sheen form, a defensive stance that's good when you're outnumbered, which is most of the time. This form will increase your ability to deflect blaster fire, and it increases the odds of dealing critical strikes against your attackers. <laughs> I don't know how you learned that so quickly. Still, your form is sloppy. Keep practicing to tighten it up and you'll be fine. Thank <laughs> you.